Hey, ¿qué onda? Bienvenidos a mi cocina. Today I'm going to teach you how to make my one pan chicken dish. I love this dish because not only is it healthy, it's nutritious, it's delicious, but it can last you up to a couple days so you don't have to cook every single day. This is great for leftovers and things like that and it's super simple. It takes about 10 minutes to prep and then it bakes for about 35 to 45 minutes and it is so yummy and so delicious. I promise your family is going to love it. Are you ready? Vamonos! First thing we're going to do is we're going to take our 11 by 14 pan and we're just going to give it a nice little spray with some cooking oil. I'm going to use some drumsticks, you can use some thighs, and you can also use some fillets. It's about a two pounds of chicken. You want to try to grab organic, cage-free, range-free, organic chicken. No antibiotics, no steroids, no hormones. You really want to shoot for that. And one of the secrets for my chicken in any of my chicken dishes of this sort, even caldo de pollo, is I always make a slit on the meatiest part of the chicken. And so I'm going to do that to all my pieces, especially the ones that have a bone in them. The ones that don't really have a bone, you can just do a little one because you don't want to cut right through it. And that is just so that when you stick it in the oven, you want to go ahead and make sure that it cooks through. Let me turn on my oven, by the way. Okay, great. Now I'm going to season it. I'm going to use cumin. I'm going to use some garlic powder, paprika, Himalayan salt, and of course, some black pepper. Little tip, I usually do the paprika on one side and on the side where I haven't seasoned it yet, that's where I go in with the cumin. It's a great way to get spices in your food, give it delicious flavor, and also reap the benefits of all these yummy herbs and spices that are very good for your health, very good for your heart, very good for your lungs, liver blood and all of that. So I'm gonna grab my pan and I'm just gonna line these suckers up at the bottom of the pan. Just like that. Now I'm gonna take some broccoli and we're gonna chop it right up. Spread the broccoli just around the chicken. And now I'm gonna cut two potatoes, same thing, spread them around the chicken. <laughs> I'm just gonna put them all over the dish. Doesn't matter exactly where, just kinda go around the chicken. So when the chicken starts to release the juices, your potatoes will get some of that. Now we're gonna add some carrots. I'm gonna use three carrots and I'm just gonna chop them up and put them in our pan. Really simple. Just gonna spread them all over the pan. Just like that. Now I'm gonna take half green bell pepper and slice it up and I'm gonna throw it in the pan as well. One more ingredient. Grab half a white onion, slice it, and throw it in there. This is what we got. Carrots, onions, green bell pepper, broccoli, and carrots, and potatoes. 
Last step, you're gonna grab some avocado oil and you're just gonna douse the whole pan. And you're gonna grab more spices and go over the veggies. Pepper, salt, cumin. My favorite is paprika. Just so it gives it a nice spicy flavor. Garlic, always garlic. Garlic is amazing. It's such an amazing food. It's an amazing herb. More salt. And that's it. Now we're gonna cover it with foil paper and stick it in the oven for about 375. Three seventy-five. Our oven, and we're gonna stick in our puppy for thirty-five minutes. That's it. Bye. It's been in there for thirty-five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and just gently remove the foil paper. Woo! Little steam coming out. Why? Because we want to make sure that the top gets a little crunchy there. And that's gonna go for 10 minutes. After those 10 minutes, we'll be ready to serve. Here is our delicious and very nutritious meal. And all you do is serve it. All these yummy veggies. Ain't that yummy? Bon appetit. This is what we got, friends. This is Wakia's one pan chicken dish. It's a great way to get your family to eat some veggies because they're yummy and tasty and a good way to have a nice, delicious family meal that's nutritious and low in a lot of disgusting things. Was that easy or what? I told you, was it yummy? I hope you loved it. I hope your family really enjoyed it. You're gonna get a lot of kudos for this dish. Remember, if you like this video, share it with your friends. Remember to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything that I post and turn on that notification sign so that way you always know what's going on on La Huarquilla TV. Thanks for watching. Hasta la próxima.